Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now you're watching episode 2 of the aeration series with me, Shikin. In this episode, we will show you how we make our aero tube frame for our shrimp tank. Stay tuned! In the first episode, we have shown you the standard blower that we pair with the aero tube as the diffuser. Many people have their own ways to make a frame for this aero tube that connects to the aeration line. We have tried two aeration frame design before. The first one is the one we used previously for our 4000 liter tank in the previous batch and our nursery tank. This is how the first design aeration will look like in the water. The second design that we try is for our bigger grow out tank. The aeration inside the water will look like this. The difference between the first aeration and the second design is the position of the aero tube and its flow. By looking at this drawing, this is the position of the first design in the rectangular shape. The second design is more to a four layer position like this. The second design has the air flow from the hose into the PVC pipe. But the first design, PVC pipe is only for the frame. Air only flow through the aero tube. Let's look at the aeration connection. This is the first design. As you can see, we just use the PVC pipe at the outside frame. The aero tube is connected using this connector. The connector need to be in two-way split or three-way split. The three-way split is used to connect the flexible hose from the aeration line. Now, let's take a look at the second design. This is how we position the aero tube. The aero tube is connected directly to the PVC pipe using this plastic pipe fitting and parallel to the other. Make sure it is tight enough and glued properly to avoid leaking. The important thing to take note of when doing the frame with an aero tube, make sure the frame can sink when put inside the water. On our farm, we use cement to sink this. You can also DIY the wick with sand, stone or stainless steel metals. This aeration efficiency will be different in different water depth. The maximum water depth for this setup is around 1 meter. This is how the aeration look like with 1 meter depth and this is how the aeration with low water depth. You can see low water depth have more aeration. We have reached at the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will share with you on the venturing system. Please download our free ebook on the link provided at the description below. Don't forget to give us likes and subscribe to get notification on the upcoming episode. Thank you for watching. 